It's really easy to be honest. Just tell the truth. <laughs> and if you tell the truth on a regular basis, we will say you have integrity. That's all it means. These are really basic concepts. So for example, if somebody calls and a secretary picks up the phone and says, Dave's on the phone, and you say, tell him I'm not here. You've just sanctioned lying inside your organization. That's what you've done. You have said that when it suits you, even if these lies are small, you may tell lies. That was dishonest. I went to visit Quantico Marine Base, where the Marine Corps chooses, selects their officers. And on the day I was there, true story, I was waiting uh, in a conference room for the colonel in charge of OCS to come and give us a briefing on, 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 on the base about, about OCS, about the, the, the selection process. And he arrived late. Marines don't ever arrive late. And he showed up late. He came in and apologized. He said, I'm sorry, we've had an incident with one of our Marines. So I go, what happened? You know? <laughs> he said, well, we're considering throwing him out of OCS, which means throwing him out of the Marine Corps. Like, and I'm thinking, what law did he break? What did he do? So I said, what did he do? And the colonel said, um, he fell asleep on watch. And I said, that's it? He fell asleep on watch in the woods of Virginia. You know? I'm like, you guys are tough. He said, and then he explained. He said, no, you don't understand. He said, when we asked him about it, he denied it. When we asked him about it again, he denied it again. And only when we gave him irrefutable proof did he say, quote, I want to take responsibility for my actions. The problem we have, he said, is we believe you take responsibility for your actions at the time you perform your actions, not at the time you get caught. We have another Marine who fell asleep on watch. He admitted it. He got punished. We have no problem with him. And he went on to explain. He says, you have to understand, I cannot put this Marine in a leadership position where they're responsible for the lives of other Marines because if they are in a combat situation and his Marines doubt for one second that the words coming out of his mouth are anything but the truth, if they believe for one second that the words he is speaking are only to make himself look better or cover his own ass, trust will break down in the whole group and people will die. Now, we are not in life and death situations, but the way our minds interpret information that is given to us is in terms of life and death. This is why we don't trust politicians. They tell us the things we want to hear. We don't prima facie disagree with anything we've been told, but we know that they don't believe the things that they're saying. And so we as human beings, we're very, very smart, and this is always ingrained in us, we always make sure just to keep a safe distance from anybody who we don't believe is honest, because if we were to find ourselves in a life and death situation with them, you know what, I'm gonna, if I had to gamble, I'm gonna say, won't go with them. When someone is honest, they're willing to tell us good news, they're willing to tell us bad news, they're willing to be upfront with them. Even if it's news that we don't want to hear, even if it's not in our interest, we're okay with it. We actually trust them. Hey, listen, I, I gotta be honest with you. Your performance has been really bad these days. I love this, we're always taught to give sandwiches. Give them the good news before you get to the bad news, right? So give them something general and generic that they don't believe anyway. Hey, you're really smart. <laughs> and on this one project that you did that you really completely, like it's really specific when they give us the negative, right? In other words, we didn't believe the positive in the first place. We knew they were just biding their time to get to the negative. Honesty.